If you've already created your groups but forgot to include discussions, you can add them after the groups are created. Click on the Communicate tab on the navbar, click Groups. Choose the group name in the View Categories drop-down, in this case Group Project 2. When I click on that, you'll notice under the Discussions area, this column, you will see nothing there, meaning that I don't have any uh, group discussion topics. To create the group discussion topics, click the context menu next to the name of the group category. Click Edit Category. You'll scroll down to the bottom. You're going to click the checkbox next to Set Up Discussion Areas. You'll click Save. The Created Restricted Discussion Area page will appear. What you want to do is go ahead and create a new forum because you would probably want this group uh, discussion area by itself. You don't want it in your normal weekly discussions forums that you do. So I'm going to click New Forum. I'm going to give it a title. Call it Group Project 2. Click Save and then click Create and Next. And what that will do is create the forum and create three topics and make sure that those topics are restricted to only those students in each of those particular um, that are enrolled in each group. I'm going to go ahead and click Done. It takes you back to this area. What you can do now to view this, um, the discussions that were created, click on the Submission Review tab, click Discussions. They'll be at the bottom, so I'm going to scroll down and you'll see a form that's called Group Project 2. You'll see Group 1 Topic, Group 2 Topic, Group 3 Topic. You'll see also this icon that says Group or Section Restrictions. This means that only the students will see the group topic in which the group they're enrolled. So only those students in Group 1 will see Group 1 topic. Only those in Group 2 will see Group 2. And of course, you'll get to see them all here so you can view each of them.